Victor. Simon? Hey, man. Hey. I've been texting with Bram, and I just felt so bad about missing this whole thing that I, I left the bachelor party and... Wait, what's the matter? Why aren't you inside with everyone else? Look. Simon, I trusted you. I thought that what I told you stayed between us, but now I realize this whole time you've been sitting around with your friends, laughing about my stupid, messed up life. Well, no, Victor, that's not, that is not what happened, I swear. Look, when you first messaged me, I was touched. Really, but, you know, I was scared too. I, I know you want me to be this, like, guru who has all the answers, but the, the truth is I don't. And I didn't want to push you too hard or tell you the wrong thing or make your life any harder than it already was. And look, like you said in your first message, we're not the same. I never had a girlfriend, but Bram did. And I, I didn't have super religious parents, but Justin did. Every one of my friends had a little bit to offer a little piece of the puzzle. They weren't sitting around laughing about your life. They were in your corner, listening and then helping and, and cheering you on. Why would they want to help a complete stranger? Because you're not a stranger. You're one of us. To me, that's the best part about all of this, having a community, a group of friends that gave up an entire weekend to help a kid that they've never met just because they know that on some level we've all been through the same thing. Because we're family. So, uh, is it always as cold in New York, or? <laughs> Here. A little something to remember your weekend in the city. Also, Bram said that he would, uh, burn it if I wore it one more time. <laughs> Shall we? I'm so tired. Oh, you're back. Oh my gosh, Victor, I'm so